Hello, we're the Re-Aliens team from Egypt. In this video, we'll be discussing the Curve Space Rescue Under-19 mission in Robocop Age of Pacific 2023. We will explain each member's role, how we overcome a certain challenge, and how it impacted our success. But first, who are we? Our team has four members. Ahmed Abdel Latif, our strategy planner, who assembles algorithms for our plan. Abdurrahman Muhammad, our program, whose duties include writing code for object detection, obstacle and trap avoidance, super object and deposit area positioning. Basmala Ahmed, the project manager, who oversees team rules, documentation, editing, and publications. And that's me, Ahmed Hussein, the team leader and programmer. Some of our team members have participated in Robocop 2022 and won the first place nationally and competed internationally. This year, our team participated in Robocop Junior Egypt 2023 in the co-space sobbing category, and we were able to get second place and qualify to represent Egypt in Robocop Age of Pacific 2023. Our co-space category missions involve programming a robot that delivered parcel in an autonomous and fast way, which was represented as colored objects scattered on the map, where we have to collect them and evolve with them. The goal is to collect the greatest number of these objects in the shortest possible time. This will be achieved by focusing on obstacle avoidance, navigation, path planning, object recognition, and object manipulation in dynamic environments. We realize that problems like traps, swamps, walls, and ensuring the robot does not leave the map can be solved using variables generated by the robot, such as ultrasonic sensor that shows off the distance between the robot and the walls, the RGB color sensor, which tells us the color the sensor of the robot recognizes, so that we can avoid traps and collect objects. This allows the robot to move freely on the ground without fear of becoming trapped or colliding with an obstacle. Our strategy, as shown in the flowchart, relies on the A star algorithm to locate and compute the shortest path. The ATAN function with BID controller to drive the robot along the shortest path. And additional strategies are used to enable the robot to reach. In this, we should use Microsoft Paint to draw the map. Then, using OpenCV to convert the painted map into 2D array. And convert it into weighted array using C++ for being an input for the star algorithm. To solve the stacks, avoid obstacles, and go to the deposit, 
and the special zones. Now we are going to explain how to use a turn function in details. Imagine that our robot stands at a point in the map. This point has a coordinates x1 and y1. And we need that robot to move to another point. This point also got a coordinates x2 and y2. So if we connected the two coordinates together, it will give us a triangle as shown in the picture. This triangle, we know it's delta x, which is the difference in x2 and x1, and delta y, which is the difference in y2 and y1. So we can calculate its angle by tan inverse function. As we know, tan of angle equals opposite divided by adjacent. The C++ has a built-in function called a tan2 to give us the desired angle. A tan2 has two parameters, x and y. And the output of this function is an angle. This angle will be between negative 180 to 180 degrees. And the combat sensor in our robot give us its angle between 0 to 360. So we need to shift a tan2 output to an angle between 0 and 360. As a result, we developed a code to solve this issue. Now, we got the desired angle and need to turn the robot to this angle. Hence, we use the built-in function in code this simulator called turn2, which takes one parameter. This parameter is an angle, and this function makes our robot rotate to the desired angle. During our journey, we gained a lot of knowledge, personally and technical. The most important technical knowledge was in path finding algorithms position prediction in block zones and obstacle avoiding. This knowledge can be implemented or already implemented in GPS to find the best and fastest route by using pathfinding methods. Actually, GPS uses a star but in wide range. Exploration of uncharted environments as a strategy based on collecting objects and finding the best route to many places such as the orange deposit area. So, if we implement this in wide range, we can use it to navigate. And thank you, RoboCop!